favorite of pumpkins. Jessica Nall is here from the Sweetest Cure. She's going to make some pumpkin cupcakes this morning, but I love what is behind the cupcakes. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yes, I, I read your story and I love what you're doing and not many people yeah. are doing this. You have a cupcake delivery service, but it's more about what you're doing rather than the cupcakes. So talk about right. just the whole mission of the Sweetest Cure. Um, I started the Sweetest Cure because we had um, several friends and family members that were being affected by cancer and mm -hmm. I just felt like there was not a lot that I could do as an individual and so um, I took a, my hobby of baking cupcakes and just kind of put it to work and figured if people would be willing to pay for cupcakes because it's a very popular yeah, thing right it now. Is, yeah. I could take the money that was profited from that and donate back to MD Anderson to help with some research. That's awesome. Yeah. And how much have you do been able to donate so far? Um, so far, last quarter was our first quarter that we were actually profitable. Yeah. So um, it wasn't very much, but it's, it's picking up fast. I mean, we just did a couple sponsorships in the last couple months for um, some brain cancer awareness. And from that, things have been really busy. So this quarter, we're hoping to make a real impact. Yeah, well, every little bit counts. And yeah, it's not just absolutely. breast cancer, it's all cancers that you're donating yeah, to. Yeah, we're donating right now individually as a business to MD Anderson for mm -hmm. their research and specifically to um, brain cancer, which I had a friend that was affected by. Yeah. Um, but we have uh, our business is set up that way. If you have a, an event that you're planning and you want to buy a bunch of cupcakes for that event, if you have a specific area that you'd like to donate the profits for that event to, we can organize it to where that, uh, that those profits can go to yeah. your your designation. That's awesome. Yeah. And now to go along with that donation is the sweetness. And so she's come this yeah. morning to make pumpkin <laughs> spice cupcakes and oh my gosh, it yeah. smells so good. So let's <laughs> tell us how to put all this together. Okay. It's really easy. Um, the recipe is going to be up online. Yep. The easiest part is that you mix all of the dry ingredients first and you set them aside, right. except for your sugar. So okay. you want all of your flour and your spices um, set aside. And I just kind of whisk them together okay. so that they're good and mixed. Yep. Um, then you take your butter and your sugars and you cream them together. Mm -hmm. There you go. Put you to work. There you go. Um, your butter and your sugars, you cream those together really good for a couple minutes. Okay. I use a handheld mixer, but you can use a standalone mixer as well. Okay. Um, and then you add in the pumpkin puree, which is one cup of pumpkin puree. You can okay. buy it in the grocery store. Really easy right to find. There. Yep. Um, and then you mix in the eggs and the milk, which will make it a little bit runny. And then you put the two together. Okay. Um, really easy. You can use your mixer or you can use by hand. However you want to do it, the biggest thing Thing to do at this point is to remember that you don't want to over mix your ingredients. Right, okay. If you over mix it, your cupcakes are going to come out really thick and chewy instead Ugh, of nobody likes that nice, except so. the dog. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> we'll leave that alone because we already okay. did all the work. Excellent. Um, and then usually I use an ice cream scoop just to scoop it into the baking dishes. That yeah. way they're all even right. and they come out the same size. Yeah, so. I learned that tip about a year ago and it makes a huge difference. It does. And it's less yeah. messy too. Yes, exactly. So the less yeah. clean up the better. I'm telling so. you. Um, then they come out about 350. Um, every oven's different, so I would start at about 18 minutes, 18 okay. to 20 minutes. Okay. At 350, they'll come out looking like this. Okay. And then I just use a cinnamon cream cheese frosting for these, yeah. and I just take a simple piping bag and a round tip from Wilton, okay. um, and just do a circle. There you go. Pipe it on the top. You can do whatever you'd like, but this is easy That's for beautiful. me. That's beautiful. And then take a little cinnamon and sprinkle it on I the top. I love it. Okay, well now done. I have to do a taste test. All right, okay, let's go see for how it. they are. They <laughs> smell really good. I love pumpkin. I don't know about you. My children love pumpkin bread. Yeah. And so it's seasonal, of course. So we yes. just found it in the store last week. So I they're know. so excited. I kept waiting I'm, for it to get cold outside mm. so I could bust the pumpkin now. <gasps> everybody, all the summer mm, flavors were very popular, and I just kept waiting for it to get cold so yeah. I could get the pumpkin out there. Oh, so. that's so good, Jessica. Mm, and that good. cream cheese frosting. <laughs> mm. It's simple, but it's, mm -hmm. it's good. Good that's balance. so good. Well, Good. we'll have our information up on the website. Thank you. Right now, go to cakesand.com if you want to look at the recipe and mm -hmm. make the pumpkin spice cupcakes today. And if you want to order from her, you can go to the sweetestcuretx.com.